Welcome to Chemistry Tutorial 360. Today we are going to find out the valence electrons of phosphorus, right? Okay, to find out the valence electron of phosphorus, we need to look at the periodic table. From periodic table, we, we see that the symbol for phosphorus is P and its atomic number is 15. This means that phosphorus has 15 proton and 15 electrons, right? Now we need to do the electronic configuration of phosphorus. As you know that phosphorus has 15 electrons. We'll adopt this uh, diagram to do the electronic configuration of phosphorus. Let me remind you some point. S subshell can take maximum 2, P can take maximum 6, D can take maximum 10, and F can take maximum 14 electrons, right? Remember, there is there are difference, there is a difference between subshell and orbitals. P subshell uh, has three orbitals, Px, Py, Pz. However, we need to do the electronic configuration of phosphorus. So our first two electron will go to 1s2, then 2s2, right? 2s2, then 2p6, 2p6, then 3s2, 3s2, right? So we need to add 6 plus 2, 8 plus 2, 10 plus 2, 12. After 3s, we need to consider 3p, right, 3p. So in 3p, we can put 3. This means that 3 plus 2, uh, 5 plus 6, 11 plus 2, 13 plus 2, 15. So we have 15 electrons here. Right, so this is the electronic configuration of phosphorus. Now we have to find out the valency shell at first, right? And to find out the valency shell, we have to look at the principal quantum number. Here we are getting one, two, three. And for valency uh, shell, we know that valency shell uh, is the outermost shell, so we have to con consider the highest value of n so here the valency shell is 3 this means that 3s2 3p3 right 3s2 3p3 and if you add the electron of this two uh, subshell then you are getting 2 plus 3 5 so phosphorus has 5 valence electron in, in its valency shell right I have a special blog post on the valency shell of phosphorus. You can read that blog post from the description box of this video. So thank you for viewing this video. Be well.